This video will walk you through the procedure for centerline probing on a Herco. First, be sure you have a Herco tool setter, master reference tool, dial indicator, part probe, and a reference sphere. Place your tool setter and use a gauge pin to make sure the dial is zeroed. Insert your master reference tool and jog it down to the tool setter. Keep jogging until the gauge reads zero. Now select the Z reference field and touch store machine position. Then press yes to store the value. We will need to subtract the length of the tool setter and press yes to accept the change. Our master reference is in inches, so I'll switch units and select the length value listed on the tool. Enter the appropriate data and accept the changes. Now make sure that your tool setter is the active device. Insert the part probe and place your dial indicator. Check your probe alignment and make any necessary adjustments before moving forward. Jog the probe within a quarter inch of the tool setter and load program probe tool length G316. Make sure to probe the ground surface, not the movable plunger. Once you have updated your tool length with the new data, it's time to find the center of your reference sphere. Be sure to check for clearance at 90 degrees before running the program. Jog to a quarter inch and load program Probe Sphere Part 0, G312. Make sure the sphere size in the program matches the one you're using and you're ready to run. Update with the data you have just collected. Now we have to measure the probe deflections. Simply load program probe deflections G312. Remember to update your reference to your size before running if necessary. Save the probe calibration and your setup is complete. If center lines are unknown or over a millimeter out, we follow the manual procedure by first loading program manual probe G3134 FNC. Change the axis in both the G31 lines to the axis you want to probe. Manually position the probe about a quarter inch from the sphere and run the program. Now we command the B axis to 45 degrees. Jog within a quarter inch and run the program again. And then we do the same for 90 degrees. Next, we edit the program to add a block skip to G31.3 and remove the block skip from G31.4. Make sure the letter in line 11 matches the axis we have measured. Run the program a final time. The machine will not move. Just accept the changes and the center line is set. Once center lines have been recorded, we have the option to use the automatic probing routine. Select the program for your machine type and axis. Run the program and accept the changes when it's finished. Repeat for each axis required and you're done. 